So today I'm making a hunting knife in the Brute Day Forge style. And I'm using a piece of 1095 quarter inch thick by one and a quarter inch wide bar. And I'm using the anvil as a gauge to measure the length. Uh, it's about three and a half inches. And then I'm setting my notch for, for the handle. And just using half on, half off blows. The goal I had on this knife was to try and get uh, try and get it forged as best I could to shape and uh, minimize as much grinding as possible. It was good exercise and good practice on forging and trying to get the knife forged to shape. Like just about every heat, I did my best to try and keep everything straight, try and keep the forge marks down uh, to a minimum. And I'm just forging the, the very butt of the tang there to get a little bit of curve to it. The notch is about half the distance of the width of the blade. So the width of the blade is one and a quarter, the notch is about five eighths. Once I was happy with the tang, I put the knife in the vise, and then I upset the guard area right where the notch was. It took several heats to do this. The heat comes out of the knife as soon as you put it in the vise and it cools off pretty quick. And I was trying to go slow and trying to make uh, even, precise hits with the hammer. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I had the same amount of steel on both sides of the guard, so I was being real careful and, and going slow. Once I had it where I wanted it, probably uh, between a half and three quarter inch wide uh, on the guard. Tried to roll off those edges a little bit, just some light hammer blows. Did get a little bit of a bend in the handle uh, after upsetting that guard area. So brought it back over to the anvil and tried to get it straight. And there I was using the hardy hole so I could set the, the guard uh, in the hardy hole and not mess that up while I was trying to straighten the blade out or straighten the handle out. I measured about five inches for my blade, went over to the angle grinder, cut that off. So the handle drew out a little over an inch after the forging. I started out with three and a half inches and uh, when I was done I had probably close to uh, four and a half to four and three quarters. Back to the anvil forging the tip, forge down on the back side of the knife, now uh, this knife is going to be a clip point, so I'm forging that angle in on the back side of the knife so that it'll have that clip point shape after I, uh, after I put in the bevels. So once I had everything where I wanted it, uh, took it over to the horn of the anvil and put a little bit of set in the blade just to try and minimize the upward sweep that the, the blade would get after I forge in the bevels. So 
So I have the tang forged out, I have my guard forged out, tip forged, and I put a little bit of set in the blades. I think one of the most interesting things about this knife is the way that the guard is formed. I used a dinging hammer. Uh, I think it might sometimes be referred to as a boilermaker's hammer. That's the hammer I used to upset that guard and to get that shape. So the next step, forging the bevels and then heat treat. So at this point, I about almost got it done. I'm just forging in the bevels, trying to keep nice, even angled hammer blows along the edge on both sides, uh, trying to avoid making too many uh, hammer marks. I think I probably the bevel up about two thirds, somewhere between half and two thirds of the width, of, uh, up on the width of the blade. The area right around the guard, really tricky. Uh, be real careful not to hit that guard uh, where it's flared out. Just probably one hit, and that would be ruined. So it's a little difficult to get in there uh, and try and forge the edge. Just did the best I could. Again, just trying to straighten it out, trying to get uh, straight along the spine, right between the handle and the, and the blade. The ricasso area was a little bent, so I was uh, hitting it against the anvil to try and straighten that out. And at this point, I'm really just trying to get the forge marks out, looking at the profile, seeing if I uh, need to make any adjustments, checking the straightness, make sure it's straight. Yeah, if you like this video, stay tuned for part two where I work on the handle and finish this knife. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.